Hello friends, how are we doing today? Yeah, it is hot, <laughs> it's like a heat advisory today. So we are going with some iced coffee. Wow, I could not say that. <laughs> iced coffee, so this one's for you. You get the all seeing eye and I get the poisonous snake with the moon. I don't know why, but that's my favorite one. And if you ever wonder why I'm always serving tea and coffee in such small containers, it's because I drink both of them and I don't need that much coffee or tea at once. I don't think anyone was wondering that. How about a story? So I know the last time it was uh, African Myths and Legends and we're going to kind of stay in this book for a little bit because there's a series of stories dealing with the tortoise. So the last one I read to you was the tortoise and the elephant. And this one is called Elephant and Tortoise. And this story is from South Africa. <clears throat> Two powers, elephant and rain, had a dispute. Elephant said, if you say that you nourish me, in what way is it that you say so? Rain answered, if you say that I do not nourish you, when I go away, will you not die? And rain then departed. Elephant said, Vulture, cast lots to make rain for me. Vulture said, I will not cast lots. The elephant said to Crow, Cast lots, who answered, Give the things with which I may cast lots. Crow cast lots, and rain fell. It rained the lagoons, but they dried up, and only one lagoon remained. Elephant went to hunting. There was, however, Tortoise, to whom Elephant said, Tortoise, remain at the water. Thus Tortoise was left behind when Elephant went a-hunting. There came Giraffe and said to Tortoise, Give me water. Tortoise answered, The water belongs to Elephant. There came Zebra, who said to Tortoise, Give me water. Tortoise answered, The water belongs to Elephant. There came Gemsbok, and said to Tortoise, Give me water. Tortoise answered, The water belongs to Elephant. There came Wildebeest, and said, Give me water. Tortoise said, The water belongs to Elephant. There came Rudebok, Springbok, Jackal, who all said to the Tortoise, Give me water, to which the Tortoise replied, The water belongs to Elephant. There came Lion, and said, Little Tortoise, Give me water. When Little Tortoise was about to say something, Lion got hold of him and beat him. Lion drank of the water, and since then, the animals drink water. When Elephant came back from the hunting, he said, Little Tortoise, is there water? Tortoise answered, The animals have drunk the water. Elephant asked, Little Tortoise, shall I chew you or swallow you down? Little Tortoise said, Swallow me, if you please. An elephant swallowed him whole. After Elephant had swallowed Little Tortoise and he had entered his body, he tore off his liver, heart, and kidneys. Elephant said, Little Tortoise, you kill me. So Elephant died, but Little Tortoise came out of his dead body and went wherever he liked. What? I really should have read this story before reading it to you. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That's the end of the story. I did not see that coming. I don't even... There's not even really like a moral or anything to this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about that one. That was weird. Right? Right? I, that was a weird story? The ending? Let me know what you think, or if you have any insights. I am still very much learning about um, non-European mythologies, because, you know, it's not really something that's usually taught in schools. Like, every now and then they'll reference, you know, a Native American myth, or an African myth, or, you know. But really, a lot of what is in literature... And literature studies is usually something based with Western civilization. Um, so anyway, 
So yeah, so any thoughts you may have, I'd appreciate it. And for now, it is time for your next adventure. I'll miss you. Cheers. Yeah.